Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm starting this reading vlog, even though it is Tuesday evening. Sorry, my voice sounds weird. I don't know what happened. But uh, I've just edited my mid year free count tag. And I'm really happy with that, although it took me nearly the whole day. Um, but I met a couple of friends I hadn't seen for years. And we had a beer and a cup of tea and the dessert. We had fun and it was great meeting them again. So I wanted to share that with you to start this vlog and also I wanted to tell you I'm still writing two arcs. I'm listening to 1414 Degrees and I'll add the book over here, I forgot the name of the author, author at the moment. And then I am reading the arc uh, on Kindle for Daughters of Sparta. Uh, yeah, too late, I know. Uh, but again, I'll add the book cover on the screen and I'm 19 pages only into Capturing the Devil by Kerry Maniscalco. This is the second one in the Jack the Reaper series. I absolutely loved the first one. So I cannot wait to get to this one. Sorry, my um, mid-year freak up tag was slate. Um, I normally publish midday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday and Saturday I'm considering not publishing on Saturdays and just doing um, reading sprints on Sunday so let me know if you would be up for that like Sunday afternoon for me which is about uh, wait three four five six seven eight nine is right now um, around eight p.m. UK time, uh, 8 to 9 UK time, and uh, that would also work for people here in this American continent. Um, what can I tell you? No, no more updates about reading, but I received a really special package today. There's a study tuber called Ruby Granger and I ordered something something from her um, her company is called Pumpkin Productivity I'll link them down below and the thing is when I ordered I was not uh, I, I didn't see I had ordered previously but I didn't see the, the spot where you have to select like on-demand delivery and if it's not on-demand delivery um, if there's no tracker, uh, basically here you cannot, uh, it, it takes from the UK to Colombia, it takes three months, like is it standard time for that everything has uh, gotten to take here. Uh, for example, I ordered from Daisy and B, I'm sorry, I'm trying to open the package. And I wrote to, to her, letting her know what had happened, and you know what she did? Initially, she didn't reply, but she immediately solved the problem. She um, sent it to the HL with the tracker, and I got it quicker than ever. Uh, and I, <laughs> Ruby, I cannot thank you now. Um, she's an amazing product. She's a great human being. She chooses, always chooses kindness over everything else. And I, I, I cannot tell you. I mean, the academic, sorry, I'm trying to open this bob balls. It's wrapped in bubble, uh, I don't know if you call that bubble paper, bubbling paper. I'll, I'll find the name. <laughs> but um, uh, this, this she did makes me really, really happy. Uh, so let me show you a bit of what this is. This is Ruby's master to-do list. And I absolutely love how it's divided. Personal, work, and
and then on top you have a key that you can add like different colors or keys for uh, different areas so quick tasks longer tasks urgent tasks and fun tasks and then personal work tools health and other i love those little stars in the corner then we have this master to-do list the big version so um instead of personal work it has work and education here on top which i absolutely love because that's exactly what i use the most then we have the timetable which is something i need oh, the the previous ones master to-do list big and small um came a, in a bundle then we have this one that is really useful right now for me because I'm writing my thesis and, well, you need a detailed <laughs> tab table. Clubs and societies, provision resources, websites. This is exactly what I need to plan my thesis properly. And then things you want to learn more about because sometimes you're interested in topics and then you forget your way and you get into something else and those get lost along the way so i, I do appreciate having that recommendations which is really really thoughtful i had never seen these then bookshops which i'm really excited about uh, I'm planning to uh, make a copy of that page and just, or maybe I think she said she was going to have it for free on the website. The library book log, so you keep track of your library books and when you have to hand them out, which is great for me at the moment because I forget when I have to hand out an audiobook on Libby and if I'm following along, you know, I get lost. Calendar, things to do before the academic year, things you're excited about, things you're excited about this year, and who you want to be by uh, by the end of the year. Then it starts in September, but it's great that I have it now so I can start planning. And then it has a monthly overview, weekly overview, and just a basic plain um, monthly ones, daily ones. But she added with from her own handwriting uh, some um, quotes by herself, like phrases that could help you along the way. And then at the end, you have things to do for the summer. Oh, by the way, in December, I believe you have even have. Um, I think it's December, yeah. You have New Year's resolutions, uh, things to do in 2023. And I think you have like a gift uh, ideas thing. So here it is, gift ideas for Christmas and things that you want to do in Christmas. Like I'm in love, in love with this academic planner. Hello! It is Wednesday and I wanted to let you know that I forgot to tell you yesterday. Ah, I am already 60, uh, six, nearly 60% into Daughters of Sparta. I'm enjoying it, but I have some buts. I'll let you know about them later. But right now, what I wanted to do is tell you that I bought yesterday a uh, loose leaf tea. Um, and then it's called spice caramel and the smell was amazing so i'm going to uh, go ahead and give it a try right now i'll let you know how it goes <laughs> Okay, 
this thing is great. This tea, oh, it tastes to caramel. Oh, but it's a tiny bit like the chai, like it's a tiny bit spicy, but not too much. Um, and um, I haven't tried it with milk, but I'm going to, and I think it's going to improve that caramel with milk. It's going to be chef's kiss. I am very sorry. I know I've been terrible at vlogging. It is currently Tuesday evening following week. Yeah, but I've been reading. I've been reading. So I finished an arc, an audio book. I just recorded the review for 1414 Degrees by Paul Bradley Carr. And I liked it. I thought it was acceptable, but I was not that interested or that invested in the story, although I wanted to know what happened and who was the killer. Uh, but it was fine. It was okay. It was good. Now, I also read Daughters of Sparta by Claire Haywood, and I did read it in a couple of days, and I quite enjoyed it. I think if it has um, a relatively not good reviews it is more out of expectations than um out of the actual book so you know i would recommend it you'll have to watch my review this coming uh no no my review has already been released by the time i'm releasing this blog um what else did i want to tell you i started reading uh hunting prince dracula by Kerry maniscalco that's the second one in the stocking jack the reaper series i'll show it to you later in the vlog i just don't have it handy at the moment and i'm also reading on kindle the thursday murder club by uh richard osman i started body reading this with my friend chibon from chibon lewis reads a lot i'll link their instagram down below but they didn't have that because they thought they were bored. And to be honest, I was really bored. I've been like on and off being somehow interested, thinking action is going to be up and then not understanding or not getting like, oh, they wanted to crack that joke and there was no reason for the joke to be cracked or they built a cool chapter based on um, the, the joke he wanted to crack and I don't know, it's just, so far it's looking like a 2.5, but I'm not sure yet. I'm 40% uh, of the way in, I believe 38. So I hope to finish it uh, tomorrow because I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have five days and I have a lot of things to do these days. 
um but i have five days to finish those two books i've told you about and the midnight library i'm also listening to tunnel of bones the second one in the cassidy blake i believe I'll correct myself if it's not on the screen. Um, series, middle grade series by V.E. Schwab. And I'm enjoying this second one more than the first one. So that's good. First one was 3.5 3 stars. And what else do I have to finish by then? Uh, I want to also listen to Crying in H-Mart. I forgot the name of the author. I'll add it on the screen too. And I haven't started that one yet, but I'll finish Tunnel Bones tonight, so I'll start the other one tomorrow. And I need to finish all these books by Sunday, the latest. 6 p.m., the latest. And I have to work on my thesis. My thesis, it seems to have picked up. Uh, I'm about to have a shower, wash my hair, and while it dries up, because tip, I cannot go to bed with my when my hair is wet, because I wake up with my hair as if I hadn't washed it. It's terrible. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, going to have a shower, work on my thesis for a couple of hours while it dries, then go to bed uh, around midnight and uh, wake up at 7 to do exercise. I've been doing exercise, let me tell you. This is my second week. And every possible working day, I've been doing exercise, and I'm very proud of myself so far. No, two weeks and a half I've been. So, no, two weeks exactly right now. Because I started like midweek, midweek two weeks ago. Uh, so, yeah, I'm uh, really excited. I'm going to do exercise. Um, we'll, uh, I'm doing one day cardio, one day yoga. I'll update you as soon as I can. I hope tomorrow. But I believe I'm going to make progress on my books tomorrow. Because I'm participating in Green Chathon also. And um, I'll add the announcement down below so you know it happens twice a year. And um, so far finished Will by Will Smith. I haven't talked to you. I didn't record anything on Ashley's 24 hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. But I was most of it, uh, most of the time I was um, in the live. I missed seven hours, I believe eight. And um, I am in love with Will. Smith. I am in love with Will Smith. I cried with him. I, I I loved it. I loved it. I loved his autobiography. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It was a five star for me. And I've also finished uh, what book was part of this? I forgot. Let me tell you later. But I finished two books so far. So I'm really happy for that and wish me luck for five books to finish in five days. Hello, it is Friday evening and I have finished um, The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I thought it was going to be worse. I was worried. No, it was, I, I ended up um, like feeling um, close to the characters, to certain characters and they were really cute to be honest. So, at the end of the day, I gave it three stars, but I, I thought it was, it was going to be a two star read. So uh, uh, I'm so happy it wasn't. And I'm honestly looking forward to the second book that I have on uh, ARC, hmm. on Netgalley. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you. And I am already 71 pages into Hunting Prince Dracula, that'll show you, show you, show you, okay. That I'll show you uh, the tomorrow Sunday. Uh, I have to go and do some clinical psychology tomorrow morning, but I'll be back in the afternoon and I'll probably show you, I'll be with my friend Donna. I've been talking to a friend for hours and oh, I'm so, so happy. He's a new friend and he's a great person. Um, the thing is that we talk like deeply, uh, deep about stuff. I'm going to have a quick shower and we'll talk a bit before I go to bed because I have to wake up early. And I'm going to continue listening to Crying in H Mart. 
And that's it for the moment, I believe. I'm going to have a busy, nice weekend. Sunday, I'll try to film also. I'm going to meet a friend who, um, by the way, I'm so excited because she's also going to participate in the Magical Readathon. She did the um, uh, spring one and she's going to do the autumn one also with me. And we're going to buy to read two books. And that makes me so really happy. And then um, it's going to be great because having someone that actually lives really close to my house that I'm going to read with, that we're going to be able to meet, to be in the magical readathon in the all nighter if it's time. I mean, you know, like those things. Ah, ah. Sorry, you're hearing serious mewing. He's just calling mom, even though it's like 12.30. No. Quarter past midnight. So, yeah, I'm excited about a few stuff and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I, almost, I almost said pet the pussy, but it was an octopus. <laughs> I, I could have went there and said pet the octopussy. <laughs> <laughs> Could you laugh, please? <laughs> Show your teeth. Be your teeth. <laughs> How? Could you send me a couple of the pigs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Wow! Great! <laughs> Hello, baby! Where? Where's baby? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the <laughs> it looks like something else coming from your mouth, you know? <laughs> what the f Oh I like that, that's hard. Hello. That one looks real. <laughs> that looks like a hat. Oh, that's too cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. Gorgeous, darling. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Your head is a. Potato head. <laughs> okay, Sirius wants to catch a. Oh! <laughs> no. Hello, everyone. I. Uh, it is Sunday evening, so it's the 31st. And I think I'm going to make it tonight. Not sure because I have to go to bed at midnight, the latest. But I'm reading Hunting Prince Dracula and let me tell you, I'm in love. I love this. I love this book. 
I am 150 pages away from finishing it. And I really want to start next month clean because tomorrow starts a magical readathon and witchathon and topical readathon, etc., etc., etc. And let's say I need to be ready because things are. I have a lot to read. I'll just read as much as I can. But. This one seems uh, like it's going to be a 4.5 stars, which is great. I'm quite happy with this month. I finished crying in H Mart. I'll add the cover on the screen. And it was just 3.5 stars for me. I liked it, but it, uh, it didn't drive me crazy. But it was good. It was a good book. Um, what else did I want to tell you? No, that's it for this vlog because I want to start right away the next vlog. Um, and that's going to be the Magical Readathon one. Um, yeah, it was a long time I didn't start the vlog on the first of the month. So I'll start the vlog tomorrow. Uh, but I can tell you I'm going to start reading uh, with Down Among the Six and Bones by Shannon Maguire's the second book in the Wayward Children series. And I'm planning to start um, at Prairie, The Prairie of the Orange Tree, read the first 19 chapters tomorrow if I can. Let's see how it goes. And um, start reading a bit of Harlan Shuffle that is an ebook and the other book for <laughs> yes I know the other book for the Ivory Key so I'll let you know in the next vlog I'll talk about it but yeah that's that's what I can tell you so far I'm sorry I didn't update you on reading that much or that's my perception maybe I'm wrong and when I look at it I end up realizing, oh, I did update, but I think I didn't in these couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, I'm um, happy because I think I'm going to finish and start the month clean. And I'm also really happy because it seems August is prone to a great start. Hope you're having a wonderful month. I hope you have a beautiful month of August. Don't forget to click like down here if you liked my video. Comment, let me know how you're doing, what you're reading, whatever you want to comment. And please, if you got in here, comment, um, hmm, a happy emoji, because we're happy August readathons are going to start. And don't forget to click the bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Welcome to the new people. I know I have a couple of new subscribers. You're welcome to my channel. I hope to see you back here. I'm sending you huge bear hugs and hope to see you soon back in my channel. Bye.